हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर वीना साकर दांडी हियर विथ माई यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज डॉक्टर वीनाज एकेडमिक रियलम स्पेसिफिकली फॉर नर्सिंग एजुकेशन एंड टूडे आई एम विथ यू ऑल विथ वन ऑफ द टॉपिक फ्रॉम नर्सिंग रिसर्च दिस टॉपिक स्टूडेंट फाइंड मेनी टाइम डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड गेट कन्फ्यूज थ्रू द नर्सिंग रिसर्च प्रोसेस सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट रिलायबिलिटी विच इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप ऑफ नर्सिंग रिसर्च प्रोसेस सो एज वी हैव सीन द मेथड ऑफ रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज टूल स्टेबिलिटी इंटरनल कंसिस्टेंसी एंड इक्विवेलेंस सो दीज थ्री टाइप्स ऑल्सो हैविंग द डिफरेंट सब टाइप्स सो स्टेबिलिटी अंडर स्टेबिलिटी देर इज अ टेस्ट रिटेस रिलायबिलिटी पैरल इक्विवेलेंट और अल्टरनेट फॉर्म बट which is most important for the nursing research that is test retest reliability commonly used in the nursing research under internal consistency there are split half reliability cronbach's alpha atom total correlations kudar richardson coefficient but the split half method is commonly used in the nursing research then third one is the equivalence so equivalence is also third reliability so under this there are two methods interrater or inter observer reliability and parallel or alternate form but commonly used in nursing research is interrater or inter observer reliability where we are going to see the calculation and how it is done so with the one one example so stability as we know stability there are different uh assessment of the so test retest uh, method under the stability under the stability we can say there are same instrument is used test retest that means there is a first test and again there is a second test that is test retest so here the same instrument is used same tool is used there will be same subject and there will be two or more times observation minimum there will be a two observation and more than that also it can be similar condition like for example if you take the example this is a example from one of my research study that is stress assessment tool so there is a stress assessment tool and assessing the stress of the patient with the chronic renal failure with the similar age group and female patients so this is used to assess the consistency of the test across a time so there will be a some duration some time between the first test and then second test that is a test and retest so again i can say there will be a similar tool same instrument same subjects and similar situation this type of test is best for the things that is stable over a time so there is a called as stability the reliability will be higher or high when little time has passed between the test so minimum we can have a 15 minutes maximum 2 hours in between the two observation or first test and second test so test retest method is relatively easy and it is a straight forward to approach the approach to establish the reliability this method can be where we can use this method this method can be used for assessing the reliability through the questionnaires observation checklist observation rating scale physiological uh, measurement of the tools so these are the few of the steps of calculating the reliability with the test retest method so uh, it is as per sequence step 1 is select the subject of similar condition according to inclusion criteria so selection of sample selection of subject with the similar pattern as per the inclusion criteria so we are going to select accordingly second administration of the same instrument to the same subject at two different occasion or two different time so administration of same instrument same tool to the same subject with the different time third step is time between administration of two occasion can be 1 to 2 hour or it can be like uh, we can say before that also then fourth one scoring of the tool at two occasion 
we are going to score that two the different like test one will be different score test two will be a different score then correlation coefficient reveals the relationship between the score generated by the research instrument at two separate time so we are going to have a calculation with the correlation coefficient as per the uh, relation between the first score and then second score so these are the five steps of calculating the reliability with test retest method very simple example like test retest reliability first to assess the coping of the subject suffering from chronic renal failure so you want to assess the again this is a one of the study i have conducted so there will be a two observation that is observation one that is the first time observation two second time that is t1 and t2 so this first time when i am going to assess the coping that is t1 that is a test that is the first observation that is time one t1 then second time t2 that is a retest again same sample same tool i will give to same patient after like the half an hour or one hour that is second time t2 that is retest and then score is uh, calculated or we can say t1 and t2 on the different occasion we are going to have a different score and then after the scoring i am going to correlate this t1 and t2 which uh, will help me to calculate the reliability then this correlation is known as the test retest reliability coefficient or the coefficient of the stability then respondent or the subject score are more closer on t1 t2 shows more reliable if it is closer like 0.9 0.8 more closer it shows the reliable if it is 0 and something is 0.9 that is not closer which will have a unreliable so this indicates like if it is a closer this indicates higher coefficient stability the coefficient of stability one indicates respondent score are perfectly correlated that is each respondent score exact same time t1 as they did on t2 so similarity is there that means it is highly reliable highly stable a coefficient correlation zero indicate that this respondent score at t1 whereas completely unrelated to their score at t2 so therefore the test is not reliable if uh, score 1 is 0 and score second is like 1 uh, that means it is a, there are two ends so that is not reliable they are not closer that means the test is not reliable so this is uh, we can say the table uh, the how we are going to interpret the coefficient correlation range between minus 1 to my plus 1 so these following guidelines can be used when we calculate or we get the result of reliability when it is a 0.9 and greater it is said excellent reliable that is they are closer to two observation are closer that means excellent reliability tool is excellent between 0.9 to 0.8 good reliability between 0.8 to 0.7 acceptable reliability between 0.7 to 0.6 questionable reliability that means between 0.6 to 0.6 that is not closer to 1 not closer to 0 then between 0.6 to 5 it is said poor reliability and less than 0.5 is on acceptable reliability so this is a guideline we need to follow once we get the result of reliability after calculation then what is the calculation how we do calculate the reliability with the test retest method so this is a formula i have taken from the textbook research textbook person peer sorry pearson's correlation coefficient formula used for the calculating reliability by test retest method so we can see here the formula i will get this formula in all textbooks of the research and statistics so r is equal to what r stands for reliability estimated reliability and n is for number of pair of score number of pair of score that is a we can say the sample and then summation of x uh, x y is and sum of the product of pair score that is summation of x and y so x is observation 
एंड वाइज ऑब्जर्वेशन टू और एक्सिस टेस्ट वन वाइज टेस्ट टू देन समेशन ऑफ एक्स समेशन ऑफ टेस्ट देन समेशन ऑफ वाई समेशन ऑफ टेस्ट टू देन समेशन ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर दैट इज अमेशन ऑफ स्क्वेर ऑफ द एक्स दैट इज ऑब्जर्वेशन वन एंड समेशन ऑफ वाई स्क्वेर दैट इज समेशन ऑफ स्क्वेर वाई स्क्वेर दैट इज अब्जर्वेशन टू सो दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड देन वी नीड टू पुट द फिगर्स सो हियर आई हैव टेकन वन एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम अगेन माई स्टडी वेर आई हैव कंडक्टेड दिस स्टडी सो हियर वी कैन से देर आर फोर्टी सैम्पल्स एंड देर इज अ टी टाइम वन एंड टाइम टू सो टाइम वन दैट इज अ एक्स दैट इज अ टेस्ट एंड टाइम टू इज वाई दैट इज अ टेस्ट री टेस्ट सो वा एक्स स्टैंड फॉर टेस्ट एंड वाई स्टैंड फॉर री टेस्ट सो देर इज अ कैलक्युलेशन सम एंड देन मीन इज कैलक्युलेटेड एंड एज पर फॉर्मुला वी नीड टू put the figures after the calculation like summation of x summation of y then uh, summation of x square summation of y square so we need to put all figures and then we need to calculate the reliability so if r is uh, we can see the result r is equal to 0.9 that means the tool is highly reliable so as per our guideline of the cal, uh, result of the reliability we can say the if it is a 0.9 and greater than that that means a tool is excellent so we can say this is a simple example calculation of the reliability with the test retest method with the pearson correlation formula so splitting half uh, that is dividing the questionnaires into two part that is half 50 50 that all atom are from same area of knowledge there will be two sets entire test will be administered to the group of individual so if you want to divide the questionnaires like there are 20 questions first 10 and second 10 that means we are going to divide into two part but this questionnaire will be administered to the entire group of individual and then total score of each set is computed or calculated then split up reliability is obtained by the determining the correlation between two total set of the score so what are the steps simple steps again uh, divide the atom into research atom of the research instrument into two equal part grouping into like odd number or even number or we can say first half second half odd number like we can have odd or even number 1 3 5 seven or two four six like this groups or first half or second half if you are taking the 20 question 1 to 10 and then 11 to 20 so we need to divide this question into two part as per our convenience and then administer two sub part of the tool simultaneously or we can say uh, independently or then scoring is done for the differently for the both the score compute the correlation coefficient on two separate scores by using the formula so this is a example again uh, for the split up method there are 10 samples 1 to 10 code number is given first half score that is x second half score is y so up, out of 10 question first 5 that is 1 to 5 is x that is a first 5 and second 5 is from 6 to 10 so here the first half x is calculated that is a total summation of x and then mean of the x second is again there is a mean and then a total summation so this is a table shows the split up method of calculating the reliability then there is a method one which we can use to calculate the reliability with the split up method that is carl pearson correlation formula so here you can see again r stands for estimated reliability x stands for score of first half of the atom score total score of x x bar is what mean of the x y is score of second half so x stand for the score that is total score total summation y stands for score of second half x bar is for the mean of the x and y bar is a mean of the second half so just we need to put this all figures into this formula and calculate the 
कार्ल पी रियल रिलायबिलिटी विद द कार्ल पियर्सन को रिलेशन सो दिस विल बी अ मेथड वन देन वॉट विल हैपन नेक्स्ट मे स्टेप इज टू एस्टिमेट द रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ एंटायर टेस्ट तो प्रीवियसली दिस स्लाइड वी हैव डन फॉर द वन स्कोर दैट इज एक्स स्कोर एंड देन वाय स्कोर सो सेपरेटली वी हैव कैलक्युलेटेड फॉर द बोथ ऑब्जर्वेशन फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्व फर्स्ट हाफ एंड सेकेंड हाफ सेपरेटली वी हैव कैलक्युलेटेड विथ दिस मेथड देन नेक्स्ट इज अ फॉर एंटायर टेस्ट एंटायर टेस्ट दैट इज अ फॉर्मुला टू यूज वेर द आर अगेन स्टैंड फॉर द को रिलेशन को एफिशियंट कॉम्प्यूटेड ऑन द हाफ विथ द फॉर्मुला वन दैट इज आर एंड देन आर वन इज एस्टिमेटेड रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ एंटायर टेस्ट एंड देन जस्ट वी नीड टू पुट द फिगर वॉट एवर आर वी हैव रिसीव्ड और वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड विथ द फॉर्मुला वन वी नीड टू पुट हियर एंड कैलकुलेट आर वन फॉर द एंटायर टेस्ट देन थर्ड मेथड टू अगेन वी कैन यूज द क्रॉनबैक अल्फा और को एफिशियंट अल्फा फॉर्मूला सो यू कैन सी द फॉर्मूला दिस स्प्लिट हाफ टेक्निक इज फ्रिक्वेंटली यूज टू एस्टिमेट द इंटरनल कंसिस्टेंसी मेनली दिस फॉर्मूला इज यूज टू चेक द इंटरनल कंसिस्टेंसी एंड देन को क्रॉनबैक अल्फा और को एफिशियंट अल्फा मे बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय दिस फॉर्मूला एंड वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला अगेन आर स्टैंड फॉर एस्टिमेटेड रिलायबिलिटी के फॉर टोटल नंबर ऑफ एटम इन द टेस्ट दैट इज K that is uh, number we can say total number then delta टू that is variance of each individual atom delta टू y square that variance of the total test square and summation of y square sum of the variance of each individual atom so this is also one of the formula we use for the calculating the reliability with the Cronbach alpha or coefficient alpha method. then equivalence is a third type of reliability calculating reliability where uh, we use very commonly inter-rater reliability so inter-rater or it is also called as a inter-observer method of reliability so here inter-rater reliability or inter-observer reliability there will be two observers which will be observing the similar group so for example a observation scale is developed to assess the sign of wound infection in the surgical ward for example there are two observers and they are going to assess with the observation scale the sign of wound infection in the surgical ward okay. with the same scale they are going to observe pulse color of the wound and there will be a observation simultaneously but independently so there will be two observation observation by first observer an observation by second observer interrater so in the, uh, there will be two observer and then how we are going to calculate these there will be number of agreements as per the tool as per the, as per the observer 1 and observer 2 how many agreements are there how many disagreements are there we need to calculate so formula for these checking the in, uh, reliability with the interrater method that is r is equal to number of agreement divided by number of agreement plus number of disagreement so we need to calculate these and then we will get the r value that is a reliability for the equivalence by using the interrater method of reliability so friends uh, today's session uh, we have seen about the definition of reliability what are the aspects of reliability different methods of reliability and what are the common reliability use in the nursing research that is stability under stability test retest method and under internal consistency we have split up method and third equivalence under the equivalence we have interrater or inter observer method so we have seen a uh, very like uh, in short the calculation and what are the formula used for the different uh, reliability calculation of uh, reliability and with examples so i have tried to make it uh, simpler uh, about the calculation little bit and then theoretical part of reliability to make you understand so hope you understood today's topic and um, if you want more hope you understood today's topic 
and uh, reliability is remember reliability is most important step of nursing research and we need to learn practice calculation of reliability and then theoretical part also so thank you for watching this video thank you